well, 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 look who is back. We are back. And we are taking on the Anaheim Ducks. If you missed their lineup, go to the end of last video and take a look, okay? You'll see who we're up against. Uh, I think we can beat them. I think we should beat them. Times 8 simulation, bitches. Oh my god. Maxine come toes. It's alright, we get a power play. We don't bounce back. They get a power play and they fucking score. Hellebuck. Okay, thank you, Shifley. Hellebuck, I'm just getting a nice little extension. I was kind of hoping to count on you. There we go. Brock Nelson, trade deadline acquisition. Picks up the slack. And Brock... N Round of applause for your GM. All right. <clears throat> Very eventful first period. Brock Nelson with two big goals. Big goals. Uh, Mark Shifley also scoring a goal. Uh, after starting out 2 nothing, uh, down 2 nothing, um, Hellebuck seemed to settle in. <clears throat> and we seemed to get some good goal scoring, which is great. Um, Hellebuck's a guy I'm usually not afraid to flip-flop goalies in the playoffs. Hellebuck's a guy I think you might just want to ride with him no matter what. Uh, hopefully it, it never comes to that. Hopefully he keeps playing well. and we. Hopefully he starts playing well and we don't have to worry about that. Cam Fowler scores a power play goal on Connor Hellebuck. Radko Gudis? Okay, it's a goal scorer's game. It's a goal scorer's game. <clears throat> Not a great second period for your Atlanta Thrashers. And we come out of it down by one. Into the third. On to the third. There you go, Pierre-Luc Dubois. Our power play sucked in the regular season, so it's good to see you. There we go, Pierre-Luc Dubois. Fucking, the people I have invested in, minus Mark Shrefley, the people I have invested in, minus Nino Niederreiter, have just paid off a lot in this first game of the playoffs. And that will do it. Game one goes to the Atlanta Thrashers. Three stars of the game. Brock Nelson with two goals and an assist. Pierre Engvall, three assists. Pierre Dubois, two goals. All of those are my work to keep them around. Our work as a community here at Rimbus. Look what we did. Look what we're building, boys. First game is a 6-4 to four win. On to the next. Thought that was going to be an injury. Our HL team did not sniff the playoffs. Not one bit. On to game two. Controller sat down. Water bottles in hand. Everyone go get your popcorn. I just can't get through an introduction without us getting scored on. Maybe I should shut my fat ass mouth. There we go, Pierre Luc Dubois. Stop taking penalties, please. I, I'm begging you to stop taking penalties. <laughs> I'm begging you. I'm begging you to stop. I'm begging you to stop doing it. Oh my fuck. What are you guys doing? Refs, let's even it up a little bit. On to the second. It's going to take a quick goal. All right, we're not going to get it. Dude, stop taking penalties. Okay, we're bowl all just taken. It's a free-for-all. The physical-ass series, I like it. You guys are fucked when Darius McGinnis gets here. You guys are in trouble. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we are... we During the regular season, we excel to keep the puck out of the net. It's not happening right now. That is not what we are excelling at. Uh, all right. As of right now, I don't think you make any line changes yet. We'll take a peek. There we go. Kyle Connor's shutting my fat ass up. Third period, though. We still need another goal. Don't get that power play was big, man. We could have used that. Uh, Kyle Connor, let's fucking go. The big guy. The captain, Captain Kyle, steps up. So here's my rules for overtime. I forgot to explain it. Uh, I totally stole these rules from GM Superman, uh, 2BC Productions. Okay, so um, we will only go and watch the overtime if it's an elimination game. If not, we will just regular sim it as if it's another period, okay? Or else we'll be here forever. So if, if this was an elimination game, we'd hop on in. But it's not, so I'm going to hit this X and we're going to go minute by minute again, okay? Captain Kyle stepped up there big in the third. Big in the third. We need someone to just score one more goal. Set the controller down. And I'm going to shut up because every time I talk, the Anaheim Ducks score. No, 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 no.
I forgot to look at the three stars because I was pissed off. We have given up eight goals in two games. No, it's not, uh, nine goals in two games. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? How is everybody a plus? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Let's see the issue. We're going to just get a quick sub in here. Vesselin, let's get him going. Let's get Vesselin. How about the defensive pairings? Plus, plus. Minus one. Only minus one. Tyler Myers is a plus two. And Hellebuck, what the ass? Keep him in for now. If he struggles again for a third game in a row, I think we give uh, Blackwood a game. Because now we're going on the road. We split at home. It was really... We played poorly at home. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. They we're pounding on the shots, man. It's John Gibson the other night. Oh, come on. You're not giving me a goal there? Come on. Don't fuck. It feels like our penalty kills has been shit. I know we just killed one off, but. It just feels. Okay. So, end of the second here, boys. We're out playing him, it looks like. Please don't let John Gibson shut you out on a playoff game. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. Get one in. Wink. Oh my goodness, John Gibson's going to shut him out of a playoff game. Ryan, I need you to cast a spell. Cast a spell. <laughs> oh no. Hellebuck played solid too. Fuck, we got shut up. No! Philly! Philly! From the top fucking row, bitch. Put 10 seconds left, a shot. From the point, Vili Hanola finds his way to the back of the net. Let's fucking go. Let's win this overtime. <laughs> Who was it? Pierre-Luc Dubois, baby. That's what's up. John Gibson had a 9-4-8, but we, we fought through that tom, tomfoolery. We fought through that tomfoolery. So two of these games have gone to overtime. Um, I honestly... I don't know. Our PK has not been great, but they've had to play so many minutes they may just be gassed. Maybe we start getting... I don't know. Yeah, we'll get Perfetti. But Perfetti can't really take fucking draws. The only guy that can win a draw up there. That's why Baron was up there. We'll get Nelson on that first one. There we go. And then Stenlin can actually take a draw, so he'll work with Perfetti. 76 is doable. Um, okay. Okay, I like that a little better. Who are the defensemen? Myers. You might as well. He's been solid. He's a plus three. I know the penalty kills really affect that. How about got into the 900s? Okay. Okay. Uh, big game. Big game to win here. You're in a great spot if you win this one. I'm trying to be quiet so they don't hear me and score against me. Because that seems to be happening a lot. Cole Perfetti. Thomas Swartinen is yet to score a playoff goal. He was point per game with assists, though. Kyle Connor. Come on, this is a big one, boys. This is a big one right here. This is a big one. This is a big game. How do we perform in big games? Let's find out. Kyle Connor again. Captain Kyle. He deserves a C. I'm glad Shafley came around. Didn't bitch out. Uh, not being the captain. Kyle Connor deserves it. Big second period there for Kyle Connor. If we can hold out, go into the third up 3-0, I'm feeling good. Got, got the best goalie in the world back there, almost, kind of. One of the best. Come on, Connor, hold it down. I don't Stop taking penalties. You guys are ridiculous. You guys are ridiculous. No, <laughs> Dimitri, cool, I got Answer. Okay. 
we should close out. Please, dear God. There you go, Mark Shifley. The dagger. Alright, what did you assholes do? Vesselinen, I give you a shot, and you fucking take a major. Oh, he must have fucked his ass up. Oh, Tyler Myers. Tyler Myers, I got you for the PK. What are you doing taking, pen taking these penalties? I need you out there. Great game from our top guys. Good shit. All right, so just like that, we're up three to one. Um, let's close this out. Let's close this out in five, boys. Come on. Let's close this out in five. <laughs> yep. Oh, a power play too. Why not? The PK switch, baby. What do you know, Kevin Stenland? There we go. Ah. I was drinking water when he scored. That's why I made like a dolphin noise. <laughs> Alright, big second here. Power play. Nothing. Ha ha ha. Culper Freddy. Come on. Come on. Hellebuck. I don't want to praise him because I know what happens when I speak. We'll talk after. Talk, talk after the game, Helly. Let you know my thoughts then. Alright, let's close out this third. Please, 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 please. It's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking fucking good. It's looking fucking good. There we go, Cole Perfetti. Let's watch this team close it out. I don't... On home ice. Yeah, that's right. They won one. They won one. Let's close it out on home ice. Let's celebrate with the fans. Look at us. We dominate them in every category. Defense is close, but overall, just the better team. If they score two goals on us in a minute and 13 seconds, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> what is that pass, Tyler Myers? What is that pass? Who's out there? What line is this? It's our bottom pair defenseman. And who is 64? Oh, it's retaining. Alright, let's clear it. Let's clear, let's clear it. Let's, you idiots. Get it out. There we go, it's offsides. Is that a shot after the whistle, Jamie? I'll kick your fucking ass up in this press box. Don't mess with me. They pulled the goalie. Let's get empty netter. We're yet to get a goal on the live cam here. Physical team. Can't fuck with us. Big one by Shafty Morrissey. Come on. Get the first live goal. Yeah! My least favorite player on the team, Mark Shrifley, buries the hatchet here. And your Atlanta Thrashers will be advancing to the second round. Let's go, boys. Look at that. Yeah, we're taking his five assists. Like, I'm not going to rag on him for not getting any goals. He's playing well. He's playing well. Once those shots start falling, too, it seems a little more dangerous offensively. Honestly, a great first round. The Anaheim Ducks were a little little pain in my arse. But overall, one of the more pleasant series I've been involved with while playing this game. Let's let's close out these 17 seconds and move on to the second. Unless Kyle Connor just, Oh, these boys are going to score again. Oh, Jesus. What a horrendous decision. What a horrendous decision. There you go, big save. Honey. What's nice is having a goal with X-Factors here in these live camp situations. And that is the end of the first round for your Atlanta Thrasher. Celebrate, boys. It's been a while since Atlanta said something to cheer about here at Zone 6 Arena. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Let's go shake their hands. Let's have some respect here, boys. Connor Hellbug paying tribute to the Winnipeg Jets with his helmet there. He, uh, he spends his summers there. Kyle Connor shakes. Is that Adam Henry? <laughs> this, this Ducks team is not very good. There you have it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love I love succeeding. Go team. Go. Go team. Go. Alright, I'm kinda of done with this. Kind of <coughs> what are, oh, I think the are crash. Three stars, your third star goes to Pierre Luc Dubois. Second star is Connor Hellebuck. And your first star of the game with 
the two goals and four hits. Cole Perfetti. There we go. Second round. Who do you guys think we're going to play? I didn't look at the tree, actually. Looking, I don't know where these guys finished. I like it that way. I like being surprised. Let's rest up. Get healthy. Get healthy. We put Veselina in and we actually played very well. The fucking Arizona Coyotes. I can't believe it. Let's go take a peek at their team. Honestly, solid, solid first line. I think I, they're deep. Okay, they're deep. Andrew Kopp as a fourth line winger is pretty deep. Pissuta is a guy we looked at free agency. Michael Bunting, what are you, what are you doing out here, Michael Bunting? What are you getting paid? Austin Krause. It's just a whole bunch of eighty-four overalls. With Keller and Schmaltz. Let's go take a look at the defensive side of this. Chikrin should be on Ottawa, but he's here. So, I mean, it's similar to the Ducks, dude. I think we can take them. Holy shit! What? A 9 1 8 in 64 games for Carol Vojmanka. He's got a 9 20 in the playoffs. Okay. They're solid. I think we're better. I think we have the better high-end talent. That's my personal view. Now, let's hop into it. Round two, game one, against the Arizona Coyotes. The Coyotes and the Thrashers are in a playoff series. That's... That's... <sighs> Stop taking penalties, please, God. No. <laughs> was that shorthanded? No, it's right after I was just talking. Score! Score goal! Atlanta Thrasher score goal challenge. Dude, we never, like, score first, I feel. Or maybe it just hits me more when we get scored on first. But it just feels like we always start flat-footed. And we're still... Oh, my goodness. What is with these goalies shutting us down? 84 overall goalies will be the death of us. John Gibson played great in that first series. And now Veljmanka is shutting the door. Come on. Oh, please stop taking penalties. I'm begging you to stop doing that. We play with a little fucking edge on our game here. Oh my goodness. Wait till Darius McGinnis reaches it. There we go, Mark Shrifley. Come on, let's get one more. Come on. If you show up late, that's all that matters. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Game one, two to one loss. Helly played pretty good. When I get angry, I hit A with... Ah. When I hit A, or when I get angry, I hit A really quickly, so I... Get through the three stars by accident. It's out of anger. Who should be up here? Probably Stenland. Yeah, that's who I do. These guys are still... Engvall's having a great run. Nelson just playing solid. These guys, like... I don't know. They're all playing good. These guys are minus ones, but that's... Is Tyler Myers good? I don't know what's going on. They can just keep it. They can keep it. Helbuck has a 9.30 now, so things have turned around. Okay. You dropped the first one by one goal. It's alright. Let's get back out there. We may look at our power play after this. What the fuck? Stop talking, you dumbass. Noah Cates. Fuck you, Noah Cates. Alright, now shut up. Drink some water so I can't talk. Pierre Engvall. The guy I've been riding for. Mm. Alright, end of the first 1-1 one, one. Even game, keep it going um. mm. Stop taking penalties You guys are ridiculous Yeah, I think we're going to go to the power play after this It's making me angry Stop Taking penalties. This is ridiculous. It felt a lot worse. Alright, alright, alright. Right. I get it. I get it. Let's just score a goal. Let's just score a goal, please. Stop. 
my god. Score goal. Stop. Take. Pedal. <laughs> Ace in the hole. Let's go. Big goal there for Vesselainen. So I threw him on the power play. Overtime. Oh, overtime. We're going to lose the game because we didn't score on that power play. That was the game. That was our chance. That was our chance. Might as well throw in the... Uh, throw in... Throw... <gasps> oh my god, we had two of them. There's not a shot we're winning this game after blowing two power plays in overtime. We're going to hit this X button. They're going to score it immediately. Fuck my ass. Moser? We just got JJ Moser? You assholes. Fuck the arcades. Alright, I mean that's... Fuck, fuck, fuck. That was the backup. Who the fuck goes in now? Why are you assholes getting so beat up out there? I mean, that's two games where you lose by one. Like, what am I... We can't change too much there. Um, so who goes in for... Oh, Appleton. Is there anybody down here I can call up? I don't think you want to give these guys their first playoff experience, especially after getting 25 points in 70 games. I can bring up Lucius. Yeah, I think you want the NHL experience, plus he's higher overall. I'm not excited about it. Uh, I think you want to maybe just give a slight, slight tweak to something here. I don't know. They're fucking all pluses. Just change it up a little bit. Get Perfetti up there. Connor can play... None of these assholes can win a face-off. Like, how are you guys all centers? Alright, so Pulik to go up there. Rotanning can play center. He's got 81 face-offs. Okay, so yeah, he can fucking play center. I don't like Connor and... Here, let's do that. I don't want two snipers together. But then I, Okay, then we'll do this. Okay, and the power play... Let's go back to having Kyle Connor back. Retaining's yet to score. Let's put Kyle Connor back on power play one. Alright, minor tweaks. Gotta win this game. Can't go down 3 0 to the Arizona Coyotes. This is a big one. Let's get it. Took us five minutes to get a shot on goal. Yeah, Kyle Connor. Perfect. Good shit. A five on three. You guys are... You guys, you guys are killing me. Wartinen. Wartinen. I gotta, we gotta figure out a name, like how to say it, before we keep going. Um, I'm thinking like a Vertanen with a W. So Wartanen. Yeah, it's Tomas Wartanen. Anyways, he scores his first clear playoff goal. Finally, dude. He was overdue. He was getting points. He wasn't, wasn't burying him. Nikola. <laughs> okay, good. We're making good changes. Good changes. Yeah. And we take a penalty immediately after. Doesn't matter. Pierre Engvall on the power play. And we take one. Stop. 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 Stop doing it. What are you guys doing? What are you guys... What are you guys so angry about? Checking from behind. Roughing. Slashing. We're just, we're pissed off. I, I kind of like it. I don't know. I, I think I like it. I like the aggression. I would like, I would like to not have penalties all the time. I like the anger though. I like the, I like the passion. We're fucking, we're drilling them out there. We're making them feel our presence. All those were like physical penalties minus the holding the stick. We were slashing, we were hitting from behind, we were roughing. And that's that's your game, boys. Five to one. Needed that one. That's a big one. I, I'm happy with how we've been playing this series. It sucks we lost the two close games right away. It sucks. We'll keep keep Appleton in. Keep Appleton in. All right, he's on the fourth line there, but whole line played well, or whole get to, whole all the lines played well. I would. It'd be nice to score a power play goal though. When you get two off the bat. They would score against us. That's how... Okay. Okay. I really thought I manifested something there. Mm! 
I'm gonna make that our official goal horn. I've lost my connection to the A service. I'm not even. Connor Hellebuck. <laughs> Fuck me, right? I want to do commentary, but it's just I have powers. <laughs> yeah, guess who's back? Back again. Atlanta Thrashers. They're back again. Like we never fucking left. Like we never motherfucking left. Okay. Continue. So this series is all knotted up, boys. We're half hour in already. Holy shit. Time flies. Alright, we may get Nino. We, we'll... Is, he, is it a lingering injury? Because we might as well just wait. We've won two in a row without him. Uh, it is linger. It's not lingering. What do we do? What do we do? He's the better player. What am I doing? Who do you... He's played seven games? Is that how much? He's got two goals. Uh, yeah. You put him in for Apple. Is Baron? It's just, I like what Baron should be doing, but I don't think he's doing it. Is he hitting? Is he hitting? He's kind of hitting. I think you give him a seat here for a minute. But who the fuck takes faceoffs? That Mason Appleton and his sixty-five faceoffs. Someone's got to take the faceoffs. Nino. Son of a bitch. Who takes the faceoffs? Uh, you can put Stenland down here with Appleton and them. Then for Baron, I'm pretty sure he's penalty killing for us still, though. Question Can Nino penalty kill? Probably the fuck not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put him back there. So we need to find someone. Wait, is it the third one? Let's put like, put like sh shapely just in case. Just in case, you gotta roll out the third one. You, you can roll out shit. What the fuck are you doing on the penalty kill? Can't have these guys on the penalty kill. We'll put just these guys just in case you need to roll someone out for the penalty kill. Alright. I don't think they're on any other penalty kill. They're not. Okay. Alright. Game three. Series all tied up. Let's get her going. Stay silent. <laughs> I was also answering a text message from Mike. Damn it! Damn it. He got up in Hellbuck's grill, dude. Pushed his ass in the net, probably. We have 18 shots already. 19 shots, and none of them have gotten it. Okay. Please. Oh, fuck. This is a big game. They're all big games. What am I saying? Come on. You gotta give me that. I think we're getting Veljman good. Stop taking penalties. You guys are ridiculous. That guy never shoots the puck. Stop holding. Golly. It's, it's, it's score three goals, please. It's, it's all I'm asking. It's all I'm asking for. Score three goals. Yeah! Do it again. Do it again. Do a flip. No, we just got shorthanded. Uh oh. All right, you can't lose now. You can't lose. I think we go back. I think we go back to our lineups. We were going. I mean, they're playing good. They're playing good. You got 89, 90, 91. Yeah, this is the lineup. You probably. Do you want to do that? Is that what you want to do? All right, well. This guy's point per fucking game. It's... it's 
it's like we're missing one more player here for the third line. Engvall's carrying his weight. Nelson, I mean... Oh, Probably throw Axe and Falgeby back in there. Throw Morgan Barron back in for a game. Yeah, we're well with that. Fuck, dude, this guy's not getting it done either. Defensively, are these guys still shit in the bed a little bit? We may move Myers out, because Myers has been fucking really good. Yeah. Alright, right. can't lose. You can't lose anymore. Hellbuck has a 9-3-2. You, what are you guys doing losing games? I don't understand. Alright, let's get to it. Do you want to move someone in for Niederreiter? Who? Stenland? We talked to Stenland. Stenland's up there on the third line there. Let's get it. You can't lose. You can't lose. You can't lose. Yeah, who takes a fucking penalty right off the fucking get-go? Thank you, Morrissey. For who took another... Quite literally, <laughs> we're watching the penalties. We're what? We're gonna watch the penalty cam. Fuck the goals. All right. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We're, we're watching penalty cams. I'm not watching the goals. No, fuck that. We're watching the penalty cam. Only show me penalties. Yeah, there's another one. Good. Good. We scored again. Apparently, I don't fucking care who scored. We're watching the penalty cam. This is ridiculous. Look what the. Stop! 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 Stop it! Stop doing it! This is... <laughs> you guys are ridiculous! You guys are ridiculous! Penalty cam. <laughs> well, they fucking scored. Assholes. Alright, we literally... Like, we can't lose. It's bad if we lose because our season's over. This penalty cam was hilarious. So funny. So good. We win. whoop de fucking do Look at this. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight penalties to zero in this game. What do we do? We took a boarding penalty. Ooh. Holding the stick. Hooking. Slashing. Hooking. Tripping. Holding the stick. Elbowing. Before the puck even dropped, Tyler Myers just elbowed someone in the fucking dome. All right, we're going to a game seven. That was <laughs> game seven. We let's get it. Let's go on to the West Finals, boys. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, oh, was it a power play goal? Idiots. The ice time of our penalty killers is ridiculous. Who took the fucking penalty? Brock, you're fucking me, bro. <laughs> no! Joel Edmondson! Oh, my God. Stop. Oh my fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you guys doing? Who the fuck takes a double? Stop. Stop. Stop doing this. Alright. Season's on the line. <laughs> okay. They can't fucking perform in the power play. Holy shit. Is there any way I can stop them from taking so many penalties? Is there anything that I can do to stop them? Let's watch the final two minutes here. You need a goal. You need a goal. You need, you need, you need a goal. In the final moments of this period, 
just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. The Coyotes win the faceoff. Great use of the stick here at center ice. We're dumping it, I guess. Possession would have been nice. Morgan Barron's out there. What the fuck? Oh no. Is Morgan Barron an extra attacker? What is this? What are these people doing on the ice today? <laughs> Come on. Tip! Sitting on the edge of my seat. Manola. Connor! Traffic in front! Oh, that was Michael's covers up. Who's taking these face offs? Because Shifley is not good at it. He's not good at it. Uh... Come on, boys. Job. <gasps> Get him. Get him. Oh my god. Hit him. Oh, good block. Get up. I'm about to go Kyle Dubas mode and fucking start yelling at opposing fans. Your Atlanta Thrasher season will come to an end in Game 7 against the Arizona Coyotes. We have set the record for penalties taken in a single series. It's a, it's a proud record. Proud of it. Uh, we accomplished a lot this year. Uh, we took penalties. We took some more penalties. And something we really wanted to have done this year was take some penalties. Um, I think looking back on it, what we did was we took some penalties. And it's good. It's good to get some penalties. Um, you know, talking with my agent, we were trying to figure out how to increase our salaries, and we're like, "What if we took a couple more penalties?" We, and then we decided, "Yeah, we'll take a couple penalties." Oh, we're gonna lose to a team captain by Lawson Kraus. Actually, that'll be good. That'll be good losing to a team captain by Lawson Kraus. Look at the fucking popcorn guy just sitting down in sadness. Zone 6. Sadness. Silence here in Zone 6 Arena. Can't believe it. We just got Veljmenko again in Game 7. Hit 40 shots on goal. That guy's ridiculous, too. Like, that's... That's nuts. I'm gonna call it... <coughs> that's bonkers. What a... that game by looking at the video time so that means we have to do the off season um let's just personally take a look at how our guys performed in the playoffs i thought we actually did solid <laughs> i want to look at our power play and pk is there a way to like look at penalty stats this, this is in the playoffs right western conference no entire league western conference fucking entire league who gives a fuck goals four per game the atlanta thrashers Three, four, fifth. We are fifth in goals four per game. Goals against per game. We were we were fifth in goals four and fourth in goals against, and we lost. Our power play. I mean that's just ridiculous. That was on us, by the way. They only played one series. That was on us. Where's our power play? Right there. I mean, it's not great, but it's. It's not great. Oh. Time shorthanded. Oh, we were second. What the fuck are you guys doing out there in Dallas? I just felt like we took so many penalties. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, no, we're second still. It's ridiculous. <gasps> and our PK percentage was not great either, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's look at some player stats. 
I was expecting this to be far and away most penalties. Um, I opened a text message from Mike, and I am now learning that we pronounce the W as a V in Vertanen. So I've just, it's been like three episodes. Vert Vertanen, like Jake Vertanen. Huh. I'm in the middle of making an episode right now, so this is helpful. All right, Mike, thank you for your services. Muchas gracias. All right, uh, let's take a look at the points here. We have Cole Perfetti leading the team with a point per game. 12 points and 12 games played. Pilek Dubois, I mean, look. Like, I have no complaints about any of these people. <laughs> Maybe Kyle Connor, I'd like a little more from him. That's the only thing. Other than that, I mean, these guys are where I expect. These are my defensemen and fourth liners. Who is a Our worst was a minus two. Like, who took the most penalties? Mark. Mark took fucking seven double minors. I feel like Brock Nelson had a lot, but it must have been only when I was looking. So it's a lot of fucking penalties. So, okay, good. These two guys shoot in simulation, in playoff simulation, too, which is good. Um, who was our hero? Dubois had two game winning goals. Game tying goals? They don't track that, I guess. Why even have it in the game? Um, anybody have a tough time in the draw? Shifley actually was solid, over 50%. Nelson around 50. Hey, nobody was too bad. Who's hitting for us? Perfetti? 5'11. Not too. I mean, Engvall. Engvall's good to be hitting. 6'5 out there. Dylan. Defensemen are blocking. Tom Howard's gotten a scrap. Hell yeah, let's go, brother. Freddy, I mean, yeah. I just. I think we played very well. Special teams killed us. Special teams killed us. And taking. And things happened to us at the wrong time. We lost a couple one goal games there. And it, it, those costs, like, we played well. Five on five. Fifth and goals for, fourth and goals against. You, you played great. Um, something's got to change, though, with that special teams. And I think we may look at our assistant or associate coaches there. Here's the playoff tree so far. We took we took the Ducks in five, and then we lost in seven. So, honestly, you're looking at it, it's an even second round. You win one more game, you're going to the West Finals. It's a good year. It's a good year. I have no complaints. I have complaints. Um, I'm not upset with this, though. It was a good year. <sighs> okay. We're selling, we're selling tickets. So I, I, Mike is feeding me good information, so I'm just looking at this up the time. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. I, know, I know what he means. Okay. Um, I only open it from him or people in that group chat because it's usually it's pertaining to what we're doing here in this series. I'm not just texting while... The Dallas Stars win the cup. So you can take penalties and win. I want to look at the... Oh, here's the draft lottery. Not that I really... Los Angeles wins. Man, go fuck yourself, Chicago. I want to look. I want to look at the playoff tree, you assholes. I'll look at the playoff tree after. I think we're going to have to go through all this. Eric Stahl hangs him up. Eric Stahl's a born leader. Horny. Kessler. There's some names in here, like Mikhail Botker. Let's, let's look at some names together. I remember Riley Nash. Jay Beagle. Roman Polak. Look at this haircut. Wow. We could have signed Roman. What was he saying? Hey. Eek. Eek. Pierre Edward Belmar. Marcus Kruger. 
Like, why do I know who Lance Bowman is? Like, let's go get crazy. Who had like a few points? Who recognize any of these guys? I don't think I know Brett Sutter. I don't. I don't think I know any of you guys. I'm looking for a name that I can just, just kind of. This is for my own fun. But like, who had no points? I don't know any of you guys. Usually, I got a little something going on in the brain where I can. Brett Sutter sounds familiar. Where did you play? He just. Oh, it's the AHL. Where's your NHL games? Doesn't tell me. Wait. Oh, sounds familiar. Who's the. Taylor Fadoon. I know who Taylor Fadoon is. Boom. There we go. Goalies. Ben Bishop. That means Ben Bishop played somewhere this year. The Texas Stars. Oh, that was back. Okay, so he didn't play this year. Alex Stalock, Svedberg, and Leland Irving. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Patrick Hornquist is now a coach. All right, let, let's go to the draft interviews, boys. Where are we picking? Does anybody know? Okay, so we made it to the second round with the second best record. So that puts you... Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, four teams ahead of you. You're fifth from 32. So thir five down from 32 seems right to me. Hold on. Yeah, because we'd be above the other teams eliminated because we were second. Unless Columbus is one of the teams. Three, two. Then you have four teams ahead of you. So one, two, three, four, five. So you're looking at this range. We're looking at 28. 28, 29. Okay, so we're looking, we're looking around. We're looking around here. We'll start at like 23. See if any of these guys jump out at us. We don't know much about him. Let's look at some numbers. I'm looking to see if there's another Tomas Vert Vertan in there. I might just say Wharton and do it. It's something that's gonna have to happen maybe. So we know there's a top four defenseman here in Larry Hendry. Three years. I'm kind of looking to add some defensive defenseman prospects here. There's a goalie in the first round. Emil Vinny. Two years away. Okay. Okay, he's playing A-plus hockey. Almost a 900. Great record. I'm intrigued. I'm marking that down. Okay, so yeah, we're making our pin list again. See it right in this section right here, okay? Um, I think we'll interview... Actually, we know what we need to know. It looks like he's got some kind of X-factors. I'd imagine if you're projected in the first round. Two years as a goalie, he's got to be pretty high overall. Um, two years, also, okay, we'll mark him down. Three years, Joe Thornton, what, what kind of numbers are you putting up in a C-plus league? Almost point per game. Is there a good defenseman just hanging out back here? Ooh, 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 ooh what's this? 71, okay, I think we got, okay, okay, not quite a Wurtonen a situation, are we sure it's a V, I don't know, anyways, it's not quite a Tomas situation, but I, I like, I like what I'm seeing, we know he's one year away, you're getting put on the watch list, buddy, it's like he just said something weird on the internet, you're on my watch list, how many points is this, 45, okay, not as good as I thought, Top nine forward, no thank you. Top nine forward, top nine forward. Okay, elite low gem. Justin Poirier. Looking like he's got an X Factor. One year away, maybe. Okay, I want to interview Justin Poirier. He's a gem. Scott recommended. Oh, no, I pinned him. Never mind. Justin Poirier. Ooh, a bigger fell. I'm looking... I need to find a good defensive prospect here. Three years for a goal is also not bad. Mark him down. Like I said, I wish I knew more about their potential. But if you're going this high, playing consecutive A-plus games and only three years away as a goalie, the only thing that could make you a bad pick is if you have a bad potential. Okay. Defenseman, A-plus, one point. Could have X-Factors. We're down in the 40s, so we're at a point where I don't even know if we'd be 
legit looking at these guys. 45 points. Okay, this is top six forward low. Ooh, okay. Okay, these guys are very similar. So he might be a low elite. And we're down into the 60s. Okay, so before we look at our interviews, is there anyone else that's sort by potential? Anyone else that jumps out to us? All right, this guy is projected to go ninth overall. 24. No, nothing for me there. Where are you? You're going at 74. You played in a D-League, but you did very fucking well. You had seven shutouts. And a 9-17. Do I know... Okay, so you are five years. It looks like you've got some abilities. Going to mark you. So it looks like we're coming out of this draft with another goalie. Okay, these guys are all high. 17. Don't think we're getting him up there. This guy's also 19. 27. We already got him marked. 48. I guess we'll mark him. Uh, no, no, no. Nothing there. These are all one bar. Low lead at 112. Two years away. <laughs> oh, our scouts have done it again, my friends. Mark. And another low elite. This one a defenseman. Five years away. Take a little longer. Mark. This guy we already got marked. Already got him marked. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm very confident I've had Justin Poirier in a different GM mode. The name just sounds so familiar. Um, I think. I could be wrong. It's just Maybe it's a different Poirier. I don't remember the guy's first name. But this guy looks like a great player, fantastic. Like regardless of if I've had him before, he's a gem, and it looks like he has gold ability. I don't know. It could have been him. Could have just be also auto auto generated with the same name. But anyways, he's Mark Pierre's gem. And and looking like one year away. Um, very intrigued by that player, Yanis. Uh, okay, so we're kind of in the two bar, one bar. Top six forward high, that's 10. Okay. Here we go. We're in the 29. This guy. Let's get down to the. To, no, nothing there. Top 4D, 11. I got to remember. Okay, here we go. 26. I'd be interested in him there. 81. E anything confirmed low? No. Okay. So two bar. I would mark down this guy and this guy off of maybes. I'm not gonna interview him there. But for if, if we're late in the class, late in the draft, we'll take a look at those guys. Larry Hendry. Top six, yeah, okay. Mark him down. Mark him down. One bar, one bar, one bar. Getting into two bar. 67, maybe. We take a look at this guy. Five years. Probably not. Not enough to get written down. I think that we'll interview this guy. So I'll mark him down. Richie at 18. Two bar low elites. I mean, this is late in the, late in the draft. I'll mark them down. Super late in the, in, in the draft. Mark these guys down. So anyone that's potential interest to me is getting marked down here. Low lead. Another goalie. Five years. This one's not jumping out to me. No, one bar. These one bars don't mean shit. Here we go. We got some two bars here. 152 maybe. Numbers aren't there. Okay, I think we got everyone marked down that is a realistic possibility for where we are at in the draft. I do think we'll take a look at the gems and busts. There's one gem and two busts, so we're not taking these guys. Uh, now we got to get our interviews in. So who are we interested in? I want to interview around where our draft pick will be. So we're going back to like that 20-something range, high 20s. I think, I mean, I feel like we know everything we're going to get with this guy. You know what I'm saying? I like to find their similar style, and I like to find their NHL ETA. The NHL ETA is the most important thing to me. This this all being here makes me think he's got some kind of factor. Star, X factor, but I think there's something going on there. Um, 
Okay, so definitely I want to interview Larry. I want to interview... I don't know. Oh, this guy's two years away. Okay, we got a markdown, though. I want to interview... No, we know him. So for interviews, I got... I got Henry. I think we might just figure out about this guy, because he's in our range, and we don't fully know about him. So we're interviewing... Okay, it's, we're interviewing Henry, Palin. We know he's three years. We know he's one year. Three. Don't know much about this guy. How many points is he rocking? 45? No. Then you get in top nines, and then you're kind of looking like I might just take this guy regardless. Like, Interesting. So I got two guys I want to... I mean, what about anyone over here? Potentially, could interview Sawyer Cloud. Eugene Chichero is an awesome, awesome, awesome name. It's just... Okay, I kind of... I mean, these guys will be gone, though, by the time. Let's just interview our two guys, and we'll find a third guy to interview, okay? So let's find out about Larry here. Larry Henry, I would like to chat about your style of play. You're very interested, good. Break it down for me, how do you play? Okay, two-way defenseman. Readiness, very important. What are you thinking there, Larry? A few seasons to hit your stride. Okay. New topic. Let's ask you a random ass question. Let's let's what kind of guy are you, Larry? What type of person you are, Larry? How would you describe your personality, Larry? Who am I talking to? High standards. Good. Good. I didn't want you to sit there and tell me you're a loser, so. Good. All right, end the conversation. Thank you, Larry. Now, how many years are we looking? Three years, okay. Okay, so that could be a top four medium defenseman. It could also, he's a passionate lover. It could also be, oh, he is top four medium defenseman. That's why we marked him. Okay, so now we know his years. Okay, so we were looking, I think we already knew his years before we went into this. I'm not quite sure why we interviewed Larry. Maybe we didn't know his years. I'm going to have to go back and look. Something in my mind, oops. Told me to interview Larry. Um, who was the other guy we didn't know? Three years. I think it's this guy, Tristan Palin. He put up 39 points and 65 games played in a C-minus league. And let's go find out more about him. Because he's in our range of draft picks. Tristan, let's talk about your style of play. How do you do it? How do you do it? Oh, he's a sniper. Okay. And how ready are you, Tristan? few seasons it's looking like three years as well skills tell me about your weaknesses as a lover what you're a skilled player so your physicality sometimes not there on a daily basis okay Tristan thank you for the time three years that's what I thought and now is there anyone in this range I mean we know about these guys those stats aren't jumping out at me then you get down to where I'm just going to take Poirier. Do we interview the goalie for fun? Do we interview the goalie and see if we can just work out any of these X-Factors back here? I think that's what we'll do. Interview the goalie. See if we can solidify the X-Factor somehow. So I don't want to ask him things we already know about. So let's ask him... Yeah, sorry. Pretend I didn't say that. Emil. Kind of got a dope name. Strength, Emil. It's your greatest strength. Your vision for the game. I see stuff out. Others. Oh, okay. He's got good awareness. Weakness. He's more of a pat. The goalie's more of a passer than a shooter. Well, I'm glad my goalie's weakness. Only weakness is shooting. So that's good. All right. So I already know you're two years away. Play style. Would you hybrid? Yeah, I'll try to play a very hybrid side, use eyes, and reflexes. Okay. Well, let's see if that unlocked anything for his X factors. Because I kind of asked him different questions I usually would. His weakness is shooting as a goalie. Good. Senses as a goalie is. Senses or reflexes is kind of what I'm looking for in a goalie. Hybrid. We've already got a good goalie in the pipeline, but it never, ever hurts to add good competition. Nothing about the reflexes yet. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Um, do you guys want the draft in this video? We're at an hour exactly right now. We could do the draft and then off season in the next video. I think that's the move. We'll give you guys the draft. Let's get into it. Uh, anybody look? Oh, Devils at three want to trade. Oh, there's two top five picks off for trade. Where are we picking? It was 27. So real quick, let's just go to 27 and down and see who's, who, who we're looking at. We don't know much about the top picks. 27. Okay, so that's where the goalie is. He may go before that, but that's where the goalie is. Then you have this guy two years away. Then you kind of fall into a little bit of a pit. I kind of like... I kind of might just take Felix here. That's if we have our pick. Let's take a look at who might be there at three for us. Three or five. So, okay, so we know about the third overall pick. He, holy shit. Okay, now this, we've already got two snipers in the top six that are going to be there a while. Not saying that's a reason to not draft this guy. But he tore up his league. Right, what about fifth? We got a center playmaker. Can we get a defenseman, please? This guy's, this guy's pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. No defenseman. We got this guy. Just we don't know shit about him. Here we go. Finally, a medium elite that we know about. Two years away. He's going to be a defensive defenseman, yeah. Two-way. Now, this is a top 4D high. The only defenseman I know enough about to confidently make a move for would be Sam Dickinson. Uh, let's get the pick. I wouldn't take him at three, so we'll send the pick five here. Ooh, it's a franchise. Damn. What the hell is this guy's name? Leon Ab has no X factors. Interesting. That may just be a glitch. We'll check in on that. Okay, second overall, Macklin Celebrini. Now, third overall, let's check out the sniper that's about to go. Medium elite sniper, he's got make it snappy, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great player. Now, let's see who, who's there at fifth. They take, they take the, okay, so this guy was a medium elite. Okay. I would have been happy with him. <laughs> I would have been happy. Let's take a look and see what it would cost to go up to five. What are these guys? They're buyers. That's why they want to move back. So they're not interested in swapping picks. They're not interested in giving up these players. Uh, I mean, we could swap picks, but 5 to 27 is quite a bit. We'd have to give up a lot of capital. A lot of capital. What picks do we have in this draft anyways? So all the picks are our own. We have a first, a third, a sixth, and a seventh. That's right. We did make some moves at the deadline. I mean, a guy that I can get that would be more NHL ready at five. I'm not. No sense in trading up to five. Let's see who goes. Zetterberg, medium elite, center playmaker. Vancouver at six. We'll take Berkeley. Berkeley, Catton. Center playmaker. Medium elite. Oh, Clark Caswell. Medium elite. Okay, so there's some employees here. Nine is available. Let's see if this defenseman's still there at nine. He's... Defenseman's there at nine. He's the next... Projected to be the next one off the board. We were supposed to go at eight. What's it cost to trade up to eight? Is it less? These guys are also buyers, though. Mm, I don't think they're interested in any prog prospects. No. I, and I just don't, I don't want to make that move. Let's, let's see what we're missing out on. He does go. He's 67 overall. Two-way defenseman. Good player. Take a little bit. Tenth overall. T 
Tanner. Tanner Howe goes to the Buffalo Sabres. Misa goes to the Philadelphia Flyers. So we're dropping out of the medium elites now. Yeah, top 40 high. This guy saw, oh, an offensive defenseman. How offensive was he in the OHL? 46 and 66. Nashville at 13. Oh, there's a oh. great pick. Great pick, Nashville. You got an 80 overall, medium elite. Damn. I would have liked that. That's similar to the uh, Tomas pick of last year. Except defenseman. Not as good. Similar to the Tomas pick. Capitals. Who missed the playoffs, it looks like. Thank you, Mike. I saw your text message. <laughs> so the Caps won the cup and then missed the playoffs. Only scored 56 goals. This guy's pretty good, though. Good pick. St. Louis Blues at 15th overall. See, we're in the top six range. Top four. Top six. Let's take a look. Any of these guys got any factors? X factors? Nope. Nope. There you go. Here's one. This guy looks pretty good. WHL over point per game. Yeah, this is a great pick here for San Jose. Playmaker, take the tape, third eye, puck. Okay, so he's a little bit of a danger with some playmaking ability. Not a bad shot for where he's at either. Not very physical, but he's that's okay. Okay, so that's I like that one. This guy at 61 and 66. No X factors though. The Ducks. Okay, so this pick pick number 20 is available. Who is in our class that we know about? Anybody that we'd be comfortable trading up for? I'd say no. Is a defenseman. He's clearly pretty good. Do we want to add him? Do we want to try and make a move? How about this guy? We know he's three years with some abilities. Okay, so if we trade up to this pick, we have a pick of two defensemen to kind of kind of play with here. Now we do have Felix at twenty-seven that we could that we that we like. We like Felix. We got Poirier down there a little bit too. But I do think we need to add to our defensive pool. I just think we've already depleted enough picks that we kind of need to hold on to what we got. We don't have many picks in this year's draft. We have three top 60 picks about in next year's top. We have three top 64 picks in next year's draft, but... We are missing a third and a fourth from next year. I think I still think we hold our picks. So this is the guy after him. Now Toronto, the, the defenseman I really want, who I believe is an offensive defenseman that might go to one of these two teams. I think he'll be very good. I think he'll be very good. Do I want to give up? Hmm. What we could do is trade this first and the second next year. And I think you definitely get it. To trade up six spots. But then you're not picking until 91 after that. And look at our look at our board. We got a ton, ton of guys that we like. A ton of guys that we like in this before 91. And we know Felix is one year away. We can't confirm that this defenseman will be one year away. We have the capital to trade up for him. Like, look, here. Let's just look at the value real quick. We had a first and our Florida Panthers second next year. You're getting that. You're, yeah, you move up six spots for this. It just comes up to we want to give up this plethora of picks. Let's take a look at the defenseman one more time. I think he's going to be a very talented offensive defenseman. Zane Parker. We just we didn't we didn't have scouts on him. 
fuck, 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 fuck. We know there's a good top four here. And we do know one of our mark guys is a low elite defenseman. Where is he? God, this is so annoying. Here we go. Oh, we don't know he's a low elite. It's only three bar. I think we keep our picks. This is a prospect I want, though. This is a guy that we're going to watch, like Ordeo. Okay. Not as good as I thought he'd be, actually. 63 overall with top 4D. Kind of glad we didn't trade up. Damn, I thought he'd be better, dude. Look at his look at his stats. I thought that'd be better than 63, man. I really did think that'd be better than 63. Kind of dodged the bullet. I was on... I was, I was, I'll go fuck myself, right? Here he goes a medium elite off the board. Uh, the guy I wasn't even looking at. Anyways, we're getting closer to our pick. Another good defenseman top four. Okay, we're getting closer. No X Factor, no X Factor. It's good good numbers. Forty three. Sorry McLeod. The guy we were looking at, recognize the name. Okay, this guy goes. He was a top nine. Damn. All right, so we're here at 27. Our defenseman's still here. And I think we really need to add to the defensive pool, guys. Now, I do still like Felix a lot. I like him a lot. I do think we really, 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 even better than a goalie, I think we really just need to add a good defenseman here. I think Larry Hendry's the pick. Let's take a look. It's Larry. It's between Larry, Vinny... Nah, this is a two-year guy, right? Yeah. Interested, but we got plenty of forwards. And plenty of forwards, but clearly is a good talent. One year away with some X-Factors, it looks like. And we got points. Interested. And we drop all the way down. Not interested to Poirier here. I think we may look to move into the second round. Maybe trade one of our seconds and a later pick to get a second this year. But I think Larry's for sure the pick here. At 27th overall in the 2024 NHL Entry Draft, the Atlanta Thrasher select Larry Henry. Boom, baby. No X-Factors, which is okay. Um, he's a top four potential uh, defenseman. Two-way. Just got to grow that guy, okay? Uh, we will sim. So where are these guys projected to go? So that's 32. Felix projected at 32. I think if Felix... Is there at 32. That's the only other team that would trade their pick. So let's get to 32 here. Let's check out the goalie. Yeah, he had... Yep, he's got... Good goalie. Good goalie. We have a good goalie in the pipeline, though, okay? It wasn't worth spending a first on, in my, in my opinion. Okay. No Felix. Felix is still there. Available for trade. What can we work out with you, Dallas? I will trade one of these seconds to you next year. It does a second and a third get it done. So, I'm most likely here. Let's do our own second. Because I believe we'll be in a good playoff run. So, a late second and 91st overall for 32nd overall. Let me just make sure around 91, we're not missing anybody we really like, okay? So, pinned. 91. Any, okay, so this guy's near 91. We don't know enough about him. Only two bar. Near 91 goalie. Good goalie. Um, okay. Like, do we just save our picks and take this guy, though, at 91? Like, I know he's a low elite. Let's see if we can do it without giving up that 91 pick. Only because I think we can keep some picks and get a similar player to Felix. So second. 
you know, like the skaters they're interested in that I'd be willing to trade. Schmidt, are you interested in Schmidt enough to? Holy shit. They like Nate Schmidt. They just won the cup. And we're looking to clear a little bit of cap. I don't mind shedding Nate Schmidt at 32. I do think. I think if you're. Th I think. I think realistically you're throwing in just a little more there. So they get a. Top six defenseman. Second round pick next year. And it's like, yeah. I think we're going to offer this to them. Let's see what they're thinking. The Dallas Stars have moved their pick to the Atlanta Thrashers. And with the 32nd overall pick, the Atlanta Thrashers select Felix Lacrete. <laughs> I, I should have looked at his name longer before I said it. Let's, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. 72 overall, elite, low elite, and the X Factor. That was the difference between the guy... I mean, I believe we, yeah, we kept our, we kept that pick too. Good, so we got another low elite. Okay, 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 we're cooking. We have a plethora of forward prospects, man. Good trade. Um, Nate Schmidt, just want to say thank you for the years you gave to the Winnipeg Jets slash Atlanta Thrashers organization. Thank you very much. Um, is there anyone before ninety one that we consider needing trading up for? Back to Poirier. I don't think we got the assets, dude. I just don't. Okay, so here is this guy. Wouldn't pound the table to trade off for him. I think this goal will be solid. Wouldn't. Don't have to pound the table there. You gotta got this. You don't know enough. There's a defenseman I kind of like. Poirier is probably the only guy you trade enough for. Poirier is the only guy. And there are teams looking to get out. I mean, it's, let's look at the Islanders. Are you willing to... They're sellers too. So they're just looking to acquire multiple picks. So... Let's see where a third and a six is at here. Nah, that's not enough. I just don't think we have the assets to trade. Unless you're working it with the second next year. I mean, we gotta keep some picks. We gotta keep the pipelines looking good. I mean, these are all, these are all for prospects that we like, though. Um... So Poirier, we'd be moving up for. So it means we can scratch the other lower lead. I mean, a third and a second is really the only thing that I could see. Say you offer the third and the second. You're left with a seventh this year, a first, and then you're losing out in some... How much do we like Poirier? How much do we like Poirier? Okay, so he's a two-bar low elite. We don't know his potential then. So we're just going to say we don't know his potential. Being a gem is good. Those guys are usually solid. Let's go to his points. He had 58 and 63, almost point per game. Took hella shots, low shooting percentage. Um, projected to be a sniper. He's a smaller player, which is why he's going around here. And it looks, at three bar, he's going to have some kind of abilities here. And it, we know enough about the other guy. We know enough about this guy to know that he does not have any X Factors. So I'm thinking... I, I don't want to give up too many picks, man. It's my only thing. Alright. So it'd be a second next year. We keep our first. Be a second next year. We give up basically that low elite two-year player for Poirier. What if we do a, just a second and a fifth next year? We take both of them. 
So a second next year and a fifth. Let's offer this and see where they're at. Fuck. Now we have to decide. Are we willing to give up? Would they even accept that? I think they would. Do we offer it? It's... Pick was made. Doesn't mean we still can't trade up. It, and it wasn't it wasn't Poirier, right? Uh... That's another sniper too. We gotta remember we have two. Sniper is drilled into our top six for quite some time. I'm not saying you don't take a good player. What kind of player is the other guy we're looking at? Philstrom, also a sniper, probably. Yeah, goal scoring. I think we'll hold our picks. I think we'll hold our picks. Send the pick ninety-one. We'll go look at Poirier before we. Oh, we're off. We're getting offered our own pick back and Alex Adler. With no. Decline, decline. Let's call a timeout. I'm okay. Just because I don't want to give up too many picks. That's all it comes down to. Let's see what we missed out on with Poirier. Where do you even end up going? Okay, so he's a 71 low elite. He did have X Factors. Okay. He had a lot of them. Off the right. Yeah. And he is a sniper. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. We're adding a guy we like here. Let's just take a look. Because he's projected to go. Is this... <laughs> and don't ask me why I thought it would be Helen Keller. I knew the game wouldn't put Helen Keller in the game. Don't ask me why I thought they would. Okay. Let's just take a look up until our guy. So there's the boss. Nothing, 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 nothing. There's a lowly... That's our guy. Okay. Now, he's not going to 112. Where are we at right now? 91st overall. Let's see... What the offers are for this pick, 91st overall, just to see. Okay, so he's 113, 112. So 2 7th, no. 2 7th, no. 2 7 2 7 Okay. Third and Edler, no. A four and oh, no. So it's looking like we'll only be getting 2 7th backs. No, we'll take him now. We'll take him now. Consider trading back, but there's nothing there. Nothing there that we're interested in. Let's go get our boy. Let's go get our boy with the 91st draft pick. With the 91st selection in the 2024 NHL entry draft, the Atlanta Thrasher select Tiro Philstrom. There you go. Low elite sniper. Two overall less than Poirier. I understand he doesn't have the uh, X factors, which is the big difference, but only two overall behind. And we get to keep our second for next year. I'm actually, looking back at it, I'm okay with what we did. I'm okay. And we picked up Felix at the end of the first. Yeah, I have no issues. So, 219 is our next pick. Anybody before 219 that we need, or think we need. So, now, before 219, we have a potential low elite. We don't know enough to make that trade, though. This, this is the guy that I would maybe make the trade for, because he's a defenseman. And he's three bar low elite. 135, 135. That'd be the only guy. So let's, what round is 135? And we are at 92nd. So we can sim the next round. What pick is this? 97th. What's 97 plus 32? Give me a second. I'm pulling out the calculator. 97 plus 32. So we can go to pick 129 at the absolute latest. Or no, that's where next round is. Okay, so we'll look at the next round. I almost just in the entire draft. Is our boy still there? He is. He's still there. So, let's look to see what it would cost to trade in here. I like being very active at the draft. So we throw in our seventh. I mean, fuck it. Two sevenths? I would trade two sevenths to take a shot on this guy here. This would be our last pick in the draft. And it's the only guy, I believe... It's the only guy that I believe we are interested in. The guy with the best bet to be a low elite. We got two bar, two bar, two bar, two bar, top 4D, 
And then we got three bar low elite. I'm okay with throwing in a seventh next year too. Fuck it. Let's take the let's take a shot on the best guy. Our best guy. So take your two sevens, yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your two sevens and run. 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 Let's go get our boy. With the 129th overall selection in the NHL entry draft 2024, the Atlanta Thrashers select Artem Tarotukin. He's got good reach. Okay, not low elite, but top 4 D low. Not a bad player. Uh, yeah, we'll go with it. Fuck it. And that is our entry draft. We are quickly before we send the next round. I want to get like to the end. I want to look through. Okay, we'll look through. What do we miss out on? What do we miss out on? Anybody? Sixth round is full of bus. Is that what I'm looking at here? I mean, they're going in the sixth round. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing. Round five is where we made our selection. Will he be the best selection of the round? Got a couple fringe starters. Top for another top for D low, but Brad Bradley Willis. Uh, we tied for the best selection. Ah, top six forward low grinder, also worse. Forty nine overall. Um, okay, so these later drafts, later rounds, do not look as good as last year. Oh, here's a medium elite goalie. Goalie alert. In the fifth. In the fourth. Sorry, another goalie. Medium elite in the fourth. That's going in our division. Here we go. Low elite. Bear Costi wasn't on our radar. Good pick there, Carolina. And nothing here. Are we in round three? We weren't. Ooh. There's a medium elite here. Gavin Whitmore. Going to Minnesota. Medium elite. Top 4 D low. Another good player. Okay. So you still get some good players here in the third. It's high starter. Philly took two good goalies. Once again, I'm sorry if these are too in-depth for your guys' liking, but I hope you're enjoying the series. Here's the guy we took. Happy with that pick. And did we miss out on anybody? No. Second round, I believe we traded out of. Because that's where Poirier... Or we never had it, but we traded out earlier. This is where Poirier went, right? Yep, right there. After Poirier's or anybody's. A couple good. Top 6 forward, top 4 D. Nothing. He's a low, another low elite. Oh, did Marcus... Mar Merrick Janis was on our board. Okay, so he was a low elite. Top 6 forward, low. Okay, so second round is pretty good. There's an elite high goalie that went. Damn, bro. We went through the first round. Okay. So there is your NHL entry draft for the year 2024. Let's go take a look at the players you brought in. Hendry. Le Le okay. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know how to say it. Lacerte. Lacerte? I don't know. We're going to call him Felix. Then Philstrom and Tara Tukin. Welcome to the Atlanta Thrashers. My strategy for the draft is get the players you want. If you have to sacrifice a couple picks, you sacrifice a couple picks. Get the players that you want. And those are the players that I wanted. Let's resign our good scouts. Resign, resign. We are at an hour and a half. We're going to wrap this up shortly. I mean it. Uh, bees can get resigned, yeah. The bees knees. All right, yeah, I'll take I'll take these bees back. Hour and a half is such. A, I'm sorry, guys. This got a little longer than I thought, but I needed you to believe that the playoffs were going on the entire entire time, so you didn't think, so you didn't know that the playoffs were over. Um, Perfetti's gonna be such a bitch to resign. Okay, Shifley's reasonable. Oh, you bitch, you whore. Eight years is 15 milli. He wants to be bridged. He wants to be bridged at 10 mil. One year at 8.3 might just be the move. We'll qualify him. I'll take your ass to restrict free agency. Cole. You wanna fuck around with me, Cole? You're about to find out what kind of GM I am. It ain't the player's GM. I'll tell you that. What was I doing? Oh, our, um, our draft class. So, okay, so... Artem Teratukin. Taken in the fifth round. We traded up to get him. Some say a reach. I say welcome to the team. Here's our first round pick. 
I wish he had some X-Factors. I kind of figured he wouldn't, but we did need to throw into the defensive pipeline because it was get. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at our defensive pipeline. Here's our prospects. Morrissey's not a prospect. All right, so we got a top one top four D. Not a prospect. We got okay. Well, we just drafted this other top four D. Just drafted this guy, and after that, like, it was it was nothing. So we needed to take a defenseman. That's what I believe. Right, back to all skaters. Uh, but so McGinnis had a good year. Forty points, fifty-two penalty minutes. He shoots a lot. Hold. Holy fuck. Okay. Um, definitely AH already. Philstrom. We'll do what we did uh, at the f end after the first draft. We'll offer our contracts to guys we believe are pro hockey ready. Darius McGinnis, welcome. Philstrom. Terrell Philstrom, welcome. Felix, welcome, 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 my friend. Fabian Molson. Our third round pick last year. Had a great year. Welcome. 64. That's a first round pick. He can go back for one more year. Have a good year. Okay. 65. This is our seventh round pick last year. Yeah, point per game. I kind of like him. You can earn, you can earn, a, earn a contract. And there you go. What about goalies real quick? Ah, Flaherty. Played very well. But still, 57 overall. You can develop it out there again. And thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you guys are enjoying this. I am putting work into this, but I, I think you guys are really liking it. We're getting views on the videos. Um, this one's a long one. So I hope you enjoy. And I thank you, really, thank you for watching. I thank you, the people working with the statisticians like Mike. Uh, I appreciate you guys and your help. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of your nights. Um, psych, we're still here for a second. This is mostly for the spreadsheet that Mike works on. Um, I want to show the playoff and awards. Because we, I didn't do it in the last video because it wouldn't stop stimming. So let's take a look at what happened here. Ooh, see that Pionk trade paid off, you bitches. Neil Pionk and the Pittsburgh Penguins went to the Stanley Cup Finals and lost in six. Um, they went through the Hurricanes, went to seven with Columbus. Took care of Toronto and then lamented their demise with Dallas. Okay, so Dallas beat them. Okay, so ugh, fucking Carol or uh, what are they? Phoenix, Arizona, whatever they are. They didn't even do anything in the West Finals. So that proves we are a little away. That's okay. We're in a good spot still as a team. We have prospects on the way and we have good talent now. So here is your Stanley Cup playoffs. Take it in. Take it in. Let's go look at the awards. Actually, before we do this, I want to look at Neil Pionk's player stats for the Pittsburgh Penguins. And what did we provide them with? What did we provide them with? Neil Pionk had nine points in twenty-one games with a minus five, so not as not as good as his regular season. Here's his regular season: thirty-eight points in eighty-two games played, plus three. Oh, they must have. If he got some more power play time, I think this he'd be having a great year. But he's getting top line minutes. He, Neil Pionk played well. Good trade, good trade. And they made it to the cup finals. So that's that's the guy we were keeping an eye on there was Neil Pionk. Dallas Stars win the cup in year two. President's Trophy goes to Columbus. Ugh, could have been us. Dallas versus Pittsburgh. Stanley Cup Dallas. Okay. Individual awards. Art Ross, yeah, we saw it. Brad Marshall's the only one over 100 points. Yeah, there you go. There you go. No, no way is Zegers winning the Lady Bank. No way. Call her to Shane Wright. Con Smythe goes to Jason Robertson. Good for him. Good guy. I joked about this. What the fuck? Brian Elliott at 39 wins the Vesna. Gorgiev, Tanev, Gray. He won it two years in a row, so this guy's a solid coach. Team must be shit, but he's he's coaching him. Salky to Crosby. And Lindsay to Martian. I was curious where the Selkie would go with Bergeron retiring. Um, but no, really, thank you guys for checking this out. Um, hopefully you didn't click off after I said goodbye the first time. Uh, but there's there's another, this there's a little more that I forgot to do. Um, so I figured I'd get it done real quick. So thank you guys. Have a good one.